on the volcanic dunes near Sunset Crater, scientists from Northern Arizona University's Department of Astronomy and Planetary Science are learning about the soil of Mars. We've come to this field site before. It's a aeolian or wind-derived dune on an area of Northern Arizona called Woodhouse Mesa. Couldn't find our big bag of propellers. I grabbed some new ones. The reason that it's useful for planetary science is because these little tiny sand particles that we're standing on right now are probably really similar to the material that is covering most of the surface of Mars. Yeah, it's super logistically challenging to bring this around. This project is funded by NASA to understand how soils retain their moisture and how we can relate those to soils on other planetary surfaces. We're really trying to understand what that might look like from a variety of different instruments. All right, white references, zero, 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 zero. The team hopes that the data they collect here will give NASA a better idea of how water might be stored on extraterrestrial surfaces. We, for the first time, have come up with this method using state-of-the-art technology to really quantify this. We're seeing that water hold on in the surface for a lot longer than we expect, and much longer than you could see it with your eyes. On Mars, we're interested for astrobiology, figuring out could there have been water there at some point. Understanding these environments, understanding water's role in it is, is really influential to uh, how our own planet formed and, and the environment that we see today and where we might be going. Although the Earth may seem far different from Mars, the team is proving that the data they collect here can be applied to even the most desolate of places.